Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Let's look at how to make smooth rolling credits that come out still smooth out of Caden Live. All right, so to kick things off, I have this loaded up here into the latest and greatest of Caden Live, which at this point in time is 23.4.3. What we need to do very first is start off with a title clip. It's available under Project and Add Title Clip. And really at this point, what you do is just really start typing. And I'm just gonna copy and paste to make this easier, but you put your line breaks, you would space it out, kind of as you would want to visualize uh, the credits as themselves. And I keep pressing enter to add spacing and you can keep doing that off the screen, so to speak, and just kind of keep on going until you've got all the pieces of the credits that you want to include. So when you finally reach the bottom, I'll put a few more spaces just to get it off the end to make sure it rolls all the way to the end. And that's what we do with our title. I'm going to go ahead and create that. And then I'm going to go bring that down into our timeline here and get that started. Now, next thing is how do we make this roll? There is an effect out there called scroll, but the challenge with it is that while it looks good, when you're working on it in Caden Live, when it renders, it seems to have an issue where there's a little bounciness and there didn't seem to be anything meaningful that could be done about that. I tried making things longer, shorter, adding more space, playing with the alignment. Nothing really seemed to get rid of that or predict where it would come in or how many times it would happen. But what I did find is that you can eliminate that by using a different process. If you were to go back into your title, and to do that, you can either double click here or up in the project bin, and then go to the animation tab. So this is a very simple concept here. You click the start point, that's where you are, that's fine. And then edit end viewport. Now for this, depending on how much you have going on, you might have to kind of roll and drag and get this down to the bottom. You'll get there eventually. <laughs> But just line that up with the end screen. All right, and that's done. And then the last piece is just to determine how long you want it to take. And you have to do this under duration. Um, you cannot adjust this particular means with speed or other effects. You have to do it here in the title control. So I'm just gonna make this 15 seconds. I'm working on a 30 frames per second base. Just keep it nice and clean and easy. Um, but yeah, this is essentially 15 seconds. I'm going to update that. And what we see here is, first of all, I have to drag this out some because it's only showing me four seconds and I made this 15 seconds in duration. So I'm going to find the rest of it. And so it ends right, fit right about there. And then to kind of give it the real test here, I'm going to render it out. You can see how that runs very consistently. And if you wanted it slower, you could just add more duration onto those credits. It's a little fast as credits, but you could slow that and give it more duration to make it slower. And that's how you can make your own credits within Caden Live. So I do hope that was helpful to you. If it was, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't done that already. I really do appreciate the support and you spending time with me to learn something new and get excited about using this tool, particularly Caden Live, which is a fantastic free open source tool. I'll put a link in the description below. Leave a comment, ask a question, and I'll do my best to point you in the right direction and get us to where you need to be. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I love y'all.